Welcome everyone. So everyone keeps whispering about OpenAI entering Code Red. But what does that even mean? Like, did they break the internet? Did Google drop something insane? Let's explore this a little bit. This isn't just Silicon Valley drama. It's an urgent internal directive from CEO Sam Altman. Today, I'll break down the real meaning of Code Red inside OpenAI and why it matters to the future of AI. Here's the deal. When Sam Altman declared Code Red, it was an internal order demanding immediate and focused efforts to significantly improve ChatGPT's capabilities. It seems urgency stems almost entirely from Google's massive new release, Gemini 3. Reports show Gemini 3 has reportedly outperformed rivals on several key industry benchmarks. In the world of AI, a Code Red usually refers to when a major competitor drops a monster model. Altman even cautioned employees that the market reaction to Gemini 3 could lead to temporary economic headwinds for OpenAI. This whole ordeal isn't just about benchmarks, it's about public opinion and user numbers. The competitive threat was amplified when major figures publicly switched allegiance. Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce, wrote that he was not going back after testing Gemini 3. Benioff described the leap in its reasoning, speed, images, and video handling as insane, suggesting the release fundamentally changed the landscape again. And the numbers are grim. While ChatGPT remains dominant with about 800 million weekly users, web analytics show that users are now spending more time with Gemini. Plus, Gemini's monthly user base jumped from 450 million to 650 million users just between July and October. Just in one quarter 50% more users, that is a significant gain. So the question is, what would Code Red force them to do immediately? They are abandoning or delaying several major revenue-generating projects. This includes plans to introduce advertising within the chatbot, as well as AI agents for health and shopping, and a personal assistant called Pulse. Instead, now they would be redirecting all internal resources toward product enhancement. Altman's mandate is clear. They need to improve personalization features for users, increase speed and reliability, and allow ChatGPT to answer a wider range of questions. The team is now holding daily calls, aiming to make ChatGPT even more intuitive and personal. I guess that is the way to go to stay at top of their game now. This urgency is also a massive financial gamble. OpenAI remains a loss-making company. While they anticipate annual revenues of over 20 billion this year, that is unheard of. Their long-term growth projection relies on reaching hundreds of billions in revenue by 2030. But here's the kicker. They have committed to spending a mind-boggling $1.4 trillion on data center costs over the next eight years to train and operate their systems. The code red reflects a necessity. They must secure a dominant market position now to justify these vast future expenditure commitments. Ultimately, the code red is the AI world's version of the biggest competitor dropping a monster model, forcing the leader to scramble. It's a role reversal. Two years ago, ChatGPT put Google in a code red. Now Google is doing the same to open AI. But for us, this competition pushes innovation. Keep watching. This race means faster, better, and more intuitive AI is coming sooner. If you want deeper breakdowns like this, subscribe to Agentic Wave the place where AI news actually makes sense. Drop a comment below with your predictions for Gemini 3 versus the upcoming reasoning model that Altman hinted at. And hey, stay curious, stay agentic, and I'll catch you in the next one.